Hi everyone, my name is Alina and I'm an epidemiologist with the Health Unit. I'm also a parent. I'm here today with another episode of Data Corner. As you've likely heard, it is anticipated that approval of the COVID-19 vaccine for children ages 5 to 11 from Health Canada will be coming soon. This is exciting news. We've received a few questions and comments about this, so I thought I'd address some of them. The vaccine for those 5 to 11 has been tested extensively in clinical trials in young children and Health Canada is doing a thorough review of the data before it is officially approved. The dose for children ages 5 to 11 will be lower than the dose given to those 12 and up. This will help reduce any side effects from the vaccine, which, by the way, are very mild. Many commenters have noted that young children have lower rates of infection and hospitalization from COVID-19 than older age groups. Even so, we want to encourage you to vaccinate your children because it will reduce the risk of severe outcomes and long COVID. According to data from the Ontario COVID Science Table, Unvaccinated people are five times more likely to get COVID-19 and 14 times more likely to be hospitalized due to COVID-19 than fully vaccinated people, even though children have lower hospitalization rates than older age groups. We must consider the health of older people in children's lives, people like parents, grandparents, teachers and coaches. These people are at higher risk of hospitalization from COVID-19. If your child is protected, they are less likely to contract the virus and therefore less likely to pass it on to others who may be more at risk. The approval of a vaccine for ages 5 to 11 is also a major step towards achieving community immunity to COVID-19. Higher immunization coverage means our communities are better protected from the virus. It's that simple. So far, vaccines have helped schools and extracurricular activities remain open. With the cold weather returning, and as people move more activities indoors, we will likely see an increase in cases. Vaccinating as many people as possible, including younger children, will reduce COVID-19 in our communities and help end the pandemic. It is the most important thing we can do to help us have a safe winter and get back to normal life as soon as possible. Well, I hope this helps. Thanks for tuning in and letting me try to make sense of some of the data that impacts us all. The Data Corner will be back again soon.